Hi, welcome to Hype and Spin. Today we're going to talk about how to pair your phone with your TFT, with your navigator and your helmet. I'm going to show you now four simple steps. Step one is going to be pairing your helmet with your TFT, pairing your helmet again with the navigator, then pair your iPhone or whatever phone you use with the TFT and pair your phone with the navigator. Having done that, this will establish a reliable connection and you will enjoy music or phone calls or simply enjoy the scenery. Step one, let's make sure all of your systems are up to date. Start with the iPhone, you simply um, connect it with the App Store, you make sure your apps are up to date, the iPhone is up to date, you know how to do that. What you need here in order to make this all work, you need two apps. One is called the Connected App and the other one is the Garmin Smart Link. Let's move on to the TFT. The TFT needs to be also in the latest software or in a software version that works with your phone. You cannot update this yourself. You need to go to your dealership because of safety reasons, because this software also controls all your safety uh, features of your bike. Also, you need to update your uh, Garmin GPS. Uh, you simply do this by connecting it to your laptop and that way you can make sure you have your latest uh, software version installed. And finally, you need to update your helmet. You do this by connecting it with your Mac or Windows PC and uh, you install the app coming from the Schubert website or you can download it from the Zena website. So now all the systems are up to date and uh, then we begin by deleting all connections. You go into Bluetooth, you have all the different connections. You can here delete the BMW Navigator. So after you deleted the old connections on your phone, you then need to delete the connections in your TFT. You do this by going into Settings, Connections, here into Delete Connections, and then delete all connections. Confirm, that is it. Then you do the same thing in your Garmin Bluetooth. Here you simply select the connections that are in here and then unpair device. Yes, SC1A, that is the helmet. Unpair device, yes, done. And finally, we need to do the same thing in your helmet. The way you do it is you turn on the helmet you press down the plus button for about 10 seconds. Configuration menu. Intercom pairing. Phone pairing. Second mobile phone pairing. GPS pairing. Phone selected pairing. Media selected pairing. Delete all pairings. Delete all pairings. That's what we want. All pairings deleted. Right. Now we have deleted all connections. Now let's get started connecting everything in the proper way. The order of things matter. Step one, you need to pair the helmet with the TFT. And you do this by turning on the helmet. You press plus and minus. This thing has only two buttons. It's only two. You press them. Hello. So it's turned on. Now we have to go into pairing mode right here. Press this button and hold it for about 10 seconds. Configuration menu. Press it again. Intercom pairing. Again. Phone pairing. Phone pairing. Now you need to go to your TFT. Go into settings. Connections. Rider's helmet. Pair new helmet. Now it finds the SC1A. You click on pairing. Your headset is paired. Done. Headset and TFT are now paired. Now what we want to do is pair the helmet with the navigator using the second phone pairing. Again, press the plus button, hold it for about 10 seconds. 
Press once. Twice. That's where we want to be. Three times. Now you go into your navigator. Press settings. Bluetooth. Scan for devices. Should now find your Sure, there it is, SC1A. OK. Simply press OK. Yes. Your headset is paired. Headset is paired. Phone connected. That is done. Make sure it's media and headset. That is correct. Now, step three. We're going to pair the iPhone with the TFT. For this, your still stay in the connections menu. You go on mobile device, you click mobile device, then you click pair new mobile device. Now it's searching. You go on your iPhone into the Bluetooth menu and uh, in a minute you will see the iPhone popping up here, right? So now click pair. Now Confirm, pair, allow, do this all fairly quickly uh, in order to establish a solid connection. Done. That was step three. Now step four. We're going to pair the phone to the navigator. For this, again, go into Bluetooth. Stay in this menu. Make sure discoverable is enabled. Make sure Bluetooth is enabled, it should be, because you just paired it with your helmet. Then you click scan for devices. On your iPhone, you go into the Bluetooth menu. Now it should find the iPhone. Correct. You should click OK. It's connecting. Your iPhone is asking you to pair. OK, OK. Requesting Bluetooth connection, yes. Allow contacts? No, we don't need this here. You do not allow that. And that looks good. Let me check phone calls. We don't need this here. We do this over the TFT. Smartphone link is correct. Media? Yes, you can keep this on or turn it off. I usually turn it off because I'm using it on my TFT. That's it. That is how it should look like. And that is it. That's all you need to do in order to connect everything. Um, if you have a passenger using also a Senna system, I recommend that you pair the two Senna systems directly to each other and don't route it through the TFT. That's it. Enjoy the ride. Keep the shiny side up. Auf Wiedersehen.